Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do an update on 3.18.2 and where we're probably going to be headed for 3.19. There's some pretty good stuff happening right now. It looks like CIG has started to kind of, at the very at this very moment, you know it can go down the bucket anytime, but right now it looks like they are kind of turning it around and getting things going in the direction they need to go. 3.18 dropped Thursday, so just two days ago as of making this video, and I've gotten... The ability to play for like six or seven hours in it it's been a really good experience i've been able to do the things that i've wanted to do and for the most part some of the major crashes that have been happening seem to have been fixed and i'm not saying there's not any bugs what i'm saying is that the main things that were like game breaking seem to be getting better um an example would be like the cutty black i have been able to get in and out of the seats on most of the Cuddy series, which has been, you know, really nice because that ship was basically broken for quite a while. So, 318.2 is running really well. One more negative would be the salvage. I don't know what's going on. You know, I pledged the vulture and against my good judgment of what I normally don't want to do is I pledged the Vulture thinking that the game loop would kind of stick around. I, I thought they had been talking about it and doing stuff about it for so long that maybe they would kind of hold true to that whole, what they were trying to do with it. Now, either right now it's been extremely nerfed, like nerfed, nerfed, like to where I won't do salvage anymore, or something is broken as in the scanners and stuff like that. Personally, as of playing it and watching it, I feel like they're nerfing it. I think they want the salvage to lean towards a more of a, hey, here's a ship we need cleaned up, salvage that ship kind of thing, rather than going out into the belt, going out into the Lagrange points and finding panels and, you know, scrapping those panel remnants and then going to trade that for cargo. I think they're doing doing that kind of direction with it now if that is the case then salvage i don't think is going to be as profitable as it once was jumping around filling the ship jumping back i you know I, I see a lot of people going back to mining after this if it sticks to the same path so that was a quick little salvage update now we're heading into 319 and i'm going to throw some stuff on the screen um from a side i like i like the way they kind of capitalize on it and and bring it up and make it easier to read so i'm gonna throw this up on the screen and i will show you kind of what's going on with the 319 evocati okay guys here we are i use this site a lot like i just said space loop so let's jump over to this space loop page right here and and they give the whole patch notes and let's kind of read through this a little bit okay now this is in the evocati stage i think this is the first evocati patch that they've done and it talks about the you know the NDA clauses and stuff like that. And here's the testing focuses. Now the testing focuses to start out with are pretty general. This is like a pretty standard first run of it, right? They're just doing the standard general stability of the build. They did add the Lorville, the new Lorville skyline, which is I think this is going to be cool. They've been working on this for some time, and I think this little thing is going to be really neat for those of us who like flying around Lorville, the Hurston area. They are doing the salvage contract missions, which is going to be interesting. And maybe this is going to play a big part of the salvage stuff. Maybe this is where they're trying to, to balance it out, right? And that leads right into the mining, like I was just talking about, where they're balancing mining. I think they're going to bump mining up a little bit and give us some those extra resources maybe they were talking about and stuff like that so that mining is more equal because let's let's be real about salvage and mining. Like There is more a lot more risk with mining, right, because you have to mine it. Then if you're mining something like Quant, you have the risk of, you know, blowing up before you get to where you need to be. Then you have to process it. You have to wait for that. And then you have to load it up in another ship and transport it to sell it. So that's like double the risks there as far as traveling and the possibility of being pirated. So there's a lot of known issues. Um, I will leave this link in the comments down below so you guys in the details so you can, can kind of read through these. There's a, there's a lot of known issues. Um, the, they talk right here about the salvage missions and the different types where they have law, lawful, lawless, and unlawful, which is kind of really interesting, right? I think this is going to be a, a neat side of the missions to be able to pick which way you're going to go, especially with the salvage contracts. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting more of just, hey, go salvage this, and then once you're done, come turn it in for money. But maybe this will, you know 
become more of a PvP, you know, mission. The skyline, they talk about it here. Um, they talk, which is really neat. They moved the ASOP terminals of Area 18 closer to the hangar elevators. Now, that's Area 18. And they, right here, it says Slorville Skylines. I'm not sure why they put that there. But yes, apparently they moved the ASOP terminals in Area 18. So I'm really curious to see that. If I can stack some video later of some of the Ivacati stuff, I'll try to put something together of what's kind of going on. Um, but a lot of those videos, you know, I guess because of NDAs and stuff, are they get pretty vague. So bug fixes, lots and lots of bugs. I mean, just a completely list. And then 12 client crashes. And then the, apparently I, I did hear about this, um, an NVIDIA crash. I haven't experienced it. I've, I've been on a 3080 Ti for a while, and it's been running really good. So. Okay, so that was our quick little update over for 319 where it's going. They, they're going to get a whole bunch more in there. I know they have the whole tractor beam thing. They haven't even really added to it yet, but it's going to be a cool piece. So we're going to jump over to the RSI store, and I kind of want to show you guys, especially if you're new or you're thinking about upgrading, they did add some ships back to be purchased through the store. I just want to go over a few of those real fast, and then I'll let you guys get out of here. Okay, so on the RSI store, they added this whole incoming threat event for the Exeno threat. Um, I, I don't remember them doing such a big thing for this, but anyways, it's on the store now, and they are having this big event for 318.2, and they are adding, you know, they give you the updates of what you're doing, the phase one, phase two, phase three, and the complete and everything, but what I wanted to show you guys was some of the ships, right? So some of the ships they added back, um, they added the Inferno, the Ion, the Titan cell. That's, that's always been there, but the Buccaneer. But they add, they've they added some stuff that isn't normally back on the store. The Corsair's back on. The Eclipse is back on. Uh, the Hammerhead is back. You know, the Hurricane. Um, this ship, I think, is the one that jumped up in price. And I mean, that, that, that hurricane just packs a punch, but the Redeemer and then the Retaliator is the big one. I see a lot of people going after this ship. Now, this ship is really cool, right? I mean, you get six size nine torpedoes. You don't have any guns as the pilot, but if you have a couple people to crew it, man, you can really do some damage. I mean, it's okay to solo too. You can drop a torp just like you do in the Eclipse because the Eclipse has guns, but it's not really, really great either. But hey, not too bad. This will be a great solo ship, and it can take some damage, man. It's just a beefy, beefy girl, right? And hey, one day when they get to doing the modular that they've been talking about since the end of time, maybe that'll come around and you can add cargo to it instead of just being this warship. So they did add some packs. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people talking about this big guns because of the pricing and stuff, and I'll hit this more info guy for you guys. And again, this is all on the RSI store, so you can roll over there and check it out if you haven't seen it or missed it. But, you know, you get the Andromeda, you get the Redeemer, and you get the Sentinel. And this all comes with, they come with a, their paint, uh, some paints and stuff like that. And they come with um, some suits and a two-year insurance. So not not too bad, I guess, for the price if, if, if you have the money to spend and you were thinking about buying these ships anyways. So... Pretty, pretty good deal on this, I think. But yeah, guys, so that's kind of it with the store. And I will be back with you guys in about not even a second. So yeah, guys, thanks for sticking around. That's really all the update I had for you as far as what's going on currently. Like I said, the game is playing wonderfully. Um, I do have a video coming out pretty soon on the Mustang Alpha and why I think it's probably the best starter ship I and I still believe this I've said this for a long time and when I say starter ship I don't mean like just a basic starter ship I mean the cheapest ship package ship game that you can get and why it's the best so if you only have and if you're saving up your pennies for the $40 that they're on sale for right now or the 45 and that's all you have you know usually you have the Aurora and the Mustang and those are the two cheapest ones and this is why I would pick the Mustang pretty much over the Aurora. Um, but yep, thank you guys for sticking around. Keep an eye out for that video. As always, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Supporting me, those of you who have joined Discord, I will leave that Discord link 
Um, we have a really good group of people that have gotten together so far. If you want to come join us and hang out, it's very laid back. It's a no tolerance thing. Nobody's going to gripe at you. Nobody's going to say negative things. It's like I said, zero tolerance. You're just gone. If you do, if you can't be respectful, you're just gone. So thank you guys. And as always, I will see you on the next video.